somebody that keeps on fighting and has been fighting for five years and more already, uh, I present to you Ines. Uh, she was one of the founders from Mothers Against Gas. Uh, and right now she's part of, I'm going to try this in Grenings. Ons land, ons lu. Ines. I um I try to I try to to do it in English, and uh, I I also want to m uh, hold it a very short short thing. First, uh, I want to thank you all for coming here to our beautiful province and uh, area. Um, I'm myself fighting for five years against this whole corrupt system, Shell, ExxonMobil and um, our government, because our government is the greatest threat for us now, in this moment, because we are a colony of Holland. They, they, they take everything out of the gra ground. We lost our jobs, we lost our houses, we lost our health. There are many people very, very sick in this moment. More than 4,000 families need um, support from uh, psychologen. I don't know the English word. Psy psychologists. So the children are really affected from this. Um, what, the, what, what the problem here is that the, the Groningers are very easygoing, nice people. Very open, very quiet very tolerant and they misuse our our way of living because we are open and uh, not violent at all and uh, the system they 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 use to oppress us here is so um, yeah they they really think about it how to to oppress a whole uh, yeah, a whole, a whole, how do you say that in English? A whole society. And um, if I told you that um, the tactic here is with uh, giving money comp of people compensation, is that they give one compensation and the neighbor don't get compensation. So what you get is that all the people are going to fight with each other. So it's like sand in a hand and it's slipping away and that's what they want. They want to create uh, fights in our society. And um, me, I am, me, I am uh, busy. I'm, 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 I'm now going to my second house because my first house I had to, to leave and I had great neighbors and a great garden and I was very happy in my house but I had to go outside of this house and it's my family who saved me to, to get me a new house but I'm still fighting against the government and I go to the uh, rechtbank, how do you call it? the court and I lose because even the judges are corrupt the corruption is immense here, here in this little, little town also. And this policeman, what yesterday, what I saw on the television, I, I, I had a very bad night because I was so shocked. And um, I think this, this police and the power want to make a statement against us, the people who are living here because they are warning us that and because they know we are so very angry and 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 we go almost to the limit because also the Groningers has their limits of taking in and they show us what they did yesterday they show us watch out because when you come and you do things outside of the lines we are going to get you so Thank you, police, for warning us. And um, the only thing I, I, I say, I, I can't understand that the police people who are also victims of the system, they have damaged, they don't get their man money also, 
that they don't protect us against Shell and, and, and everything, but that they protect the big, big oil companies. Shame on you, police. Shame on you. 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 But, but, we don't let us in the, uh, uh, in, intimidate, in, intimidate us because we are strong and we go on and I want to thank Code Red so much. I'm, 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 I'm not going to cry but uh, I'm, I'm inside almost but thank you all for coming here. We are very very thankful for your support and uh, this is the beginning of the revolution in Groningen. Thank you.